there's a common phrase known as aging like fine wine. We can look at Steve Carell and see that he really has aged like a fine wine. There's also a phrase opposite to this, aging like milk. For example, ex-US President Donald Trump's initial response to coronavirus outbreak aged like milk. The virus. They're working hard. Looks like by April, you know, in theory, when it gets a little warmer, it miraculously goes away. I hope that's true. So what is it about wine that makes it better as it ages? And what is it about milk that makes it go bad within a matter of few days? While there are many culprits that contribute to spoilage of milk, the most common cause is the proliferation of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi, which metabolize milk components to form unwanted byproducts. Milk contains approximately 87% water. Water activity of milk is 0.97. As I explained earlier in a video, water activity is the free water available for microbial growth and is always between 0 and 1. The more the water activity of a food item, the more microbial growth it supports. So the water activity of 0.97 is really, really high. Another important thing is that milk contains lactose, which is a carbohydrate. Lactose makes up around 4.9% of milk. Microbes love to feed on lactose as it's really easy to break down. So the microbes have high quantity of food and water and that gives them a chance to flourish. Bacteria such as lactobacillus break down lactose to form lactic acid and release carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This causes the milk to turn sour and results in a curd-like texture. Other bacteria like Pseudomonas produce enzymes called proteases that break down the proteins in milk leading to bitter taste and foul smell. They also produce enzymes called lipases which break down fat molecules present in milk causing off flavors. Most of the milk that we get at our home is pasteurized. The process of pasteurization involves heating milk to 71.7 degrees Celsius for at least 15 seconds. Once the milk has been heated, it is then cooled very quickly to less than 3 degrees Celsius. Pasteurization destroys 99% of the microbes, but the rest 1% stay in the milk and keep multiplying. Cooling the milk slows down the growth of these microbes as the microbes in the milk grow the most at room temperature. That's why milk is usually kept at a low temperature. These bacteria can enter the milk from anywhere including cow's udders, the soil around the cow, contaminated equipments or storage tanks. Vine, on the other hand, is typically made from fermentation of grapes. Unlike milk, which is spoiled by the action of microbes, wine is made from the fermentative action of yeast. Different varieties of grapes and strains of yeasts are major factors in different styles of wine. Wine is around 85% water. It also contains around 13% alcohol, which is the major reason for the long shelf life of any wine. Microbes can't survive in alcohol. Remember how everyone's been asking you to use hand sanitizer for more than a year. Alcohol is the main ingredient of hand sanitizers as well. But don't go around drinking hand sanitizers because they contain isopropyl alcohol, which is toxic whereas wines contain ethanol. Ethanol in wine literally kills all the microbes. Wine tastes better with age because of a complex reaction occurring among sugars, acids, and substances known as phenolic compounds. In time, this chemical reaction can affect the taste of wine in a way that gives it a pleasing flavor. The chemical reaction can also change the color and aroma of the wine. Aging of wine in oak barrels improves its taste and aroma as it leads to development of tannins. Tannins are responsible for giving wine its signature dry texture. But wine doesn't have infinite shelf life. Wine does go bad, but wine that has gone bad is still safe to drink. The only con is that it'll taste really, really awful. Wine storage conditions, the type of wine, and the temperature in which wine is stored are important for the shelf life. High quality wines tend to last longer because they're made from better ingredients. Red wine that costs around $10 to $30 at the store will last about 2 to 3 years unopened. After opening, a wine's shelf life decreases dramatically because air reacts with the wine and oxidizes the flavor causing compounds. High temperature also leads to the oxidation of wine. If your old wine tastes bad, just stop whining and get a new bottle from Walmart. 
no matter what problem you're going through in life, alcohol will fix it because according to chemistry, alcohol is a solution. Just don't bottle up your feelings.